All right, good morning, guys. It is day two of Miles of Mayhem. And the mayhem continues. We got the Camaro running here this morning, got the new regulator on it, but uh, we're having some, still some funny issues with it. As you can see, fuel pressure is pulsing pretty hard. Um, it's a little weird. I don't know if it's a fuel pump issue now or what, but uh, I also had to add like 40% fuel to the fuel map at idle with the fuel pressure setting the same. So if something doesn't quite make sense, but we're gonna go for a ride here soon and uh, just see what the rest of the fuel map looks like and see what it's doing. All right, so we made it here to Rad Tour Raceways. Anthony's in the staging lanes now, ready to make our, our first hit of the day. Um, I'm gonna show you guys around this place yet. It is sweet, really nice. So today could actually be pretty uneventful. I mean, it was a short drive from the hotel to the track. We're here, the track seems to be working. I don't think anybody has spun yet. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, we're, we're ready. I added a degree and a quarter of timing back into it. Hoping to get that 750 kind of thing. Uh, yeah, if it, if it gets close, we'll be a one and done here. And then that's pretty uneventful. Our drive today is only an hour and a half, but our luck probably three hours, but still. Um, but yeah, check this place out, man. This is the staging lanes. You got, I don't know, box seats or something for the fancy folk. Pretty nice for you today. I'll show you the bleachers yet, man. They're everywhere. It's amazing. Pits. They're everywhere there. This whole backside here, there's people parked. There's, uh, I think, a road course back there, and there's a circle track place over there. Pretty wild, man. Beautiful place. see like a 752 or something here and a good reaction time Yes, wasn't wasn't opening all the way. So I think we got that figured out. The uh, absolute pressure, manifold pressure, was like 88 to 92. So it wasn't full pressure. And that would be 672. Put a little more timing back in it. Now we're 36 all in. Uh, we also wired up a fuel pressure sensor. So we can data log the pressure and see what that's doing going down the track as well. Uh, so we'll make another pass and we'll see. Okay, so we're going up here for pass two. See if we got our issues sorted out. something mechanical I don't know um, we'll look at the log see what the fuel pressure is showing if fuel pressure is good all the way across and trims are good as far as are good then uh, yeah I don't know we'll verify timing I guess and yeah maybe maybe it's mechanical okay so on the data log we can see that the fuel pressure is dropping it drops to about 45 psi versus the initial being like 68. So we got a solid 20 PSI drop. So what we did with that uh, fuel pump is it's got a high speed. So 
we wired up that high speed so that when he's above 75% throttle kind of thing, then uh, high speed will be on. So we'll see if that corrects our fuel pressure issue. Okay, so this is attempt number three to figure out why we're running slow today. See, we got our fuel pressure issue sorted out. Alright, so now we're going on pass number four. We went 82 and 82 and 80 after fixing some fuel pressure issues, possibly. Um, now we up the tire pressure to 15 pounds instead of 13. See if we can pick up on the short time. And we changed spark plugs to see if they're fouled up from yesterday's whole ordeal. So we'll see. All right, attempt number four. Let's see if we picked up anything. Two more degrees timing in it. We'll see if it does us any favors. Nope. Actually went down a little bit in mile an hour. Okay, we're done for the day. You saw there we put in uh, two degrees timing. So we're at 38 total. is actually more than we know the car likes usually but we wanted to just see what it would do with this higher elevation um, lost a little mile an hour out of it so obviously it wasn't happy ET didn't pick up so we're gonna hand in that 80 805 time slip and we're gonna call that a day So I missed all the action because, you know, we're distracted. But uh, fuel pump is going out on the Camaro here. And there was a ton of people who just stopped by to try to help us out, which is just incredible. I actually have goosebumps, man. It was really cool. Um, ended up uh, Kyle over there with his warehouse had a pump for us that we can use. There's another guy, I don't, didn't catch his name. He also had a pump for us, but this one's got the right fitting. So sorry, dude. <laughs> Appreciate it anyway, though. Uh, yeah, we're gonna toss this one on and hopefully get back on the road Well a couple miles later, and we made it to our checkpoint With the new fuel pump on the truck thanks to Kyle again and everybody else who stopped I don't even know who it all was, but there was a lot of people who stopped so that was that was wild But it seems like we're good to go right now Maybe we'll grab something to drink and continue on Under control. We've changed 
fuel pressure regulator, we change the fuel pump, uh, we clean the fuel filters, so fuel is good, like our fuel pressure now seems to be spot on. Um, again, huge thank you to Kyle, uh, that really saved our butts there. Um, but yeah, anyway, now we have a misfire happening that uh, we're not sure where it's coming from. We did change spark plugs at the track. gonna call what are we day two right day we're, two. we're day two yeah so day two we're gonna call that a wrap we made it the uh, fuel pump side actually ended up working out pretty good for us yeah fuel pressure even when the pump was warm still like 68 70 pounds we'll probably drop that down yet um, still have that misfire we're dealing with on and off so tomorrow morning we'll do a valve lash when everything is cooled off maybe double check some spark plugs and uh, the track is right close by so that's nice and uh, yeah we're checked in the hotel and I mean I've never had this before but somehow we're at a hotel that uh, they give you complimentary beers when you check in so that was really cool I don't know how long that's gonna last or if that's just for miles of mayhem but that's really cool and uh yeah i'm telling you there's some crazy people like look at this look at this thing for example this grand national no hood on which is whatever typical no side windows either of them <laughs> isn't that crazy but yeah anyway that's day two stay tuned for day three <laughs>